When it comes to revenue growth, are you impressed that even a company of this size can continue to post such strong numbers? Sure, of course we'll be impressed anyone can grow at this size. But at the same time, we also feel very vindicated because <laughs> for the last two years we have been saying that Alibaba is going to be great and a lot of people had a skepticism with uh, given the China downturn economy, stock market crash from uh, two summers ago, and yet Alibaba continued to just grow and grow and grow. It has been impressive to see them do that. Now I want to take a look at how revenue growth has progressed. Take a look at your Bloomberg G hashtag BTV4742 uh, shows how uh, revenue has grown over the last several quarters. Selena, the company executive spent a lot of time on the t call talking about a new retail strategy, another area they're expecting significant growth. What does that really mean? Alibaba, like Amazon and many other e-commerce giants, have been talking about how really the future of commerce is when you combine offline shopping with online shopping. So Alibaba wants to leverage the millions of consumers it has, as well as all their data, to deliver a mobile app that offers a seamless experience when you're actually in a brick-and-mortar store. Now, a lot of Alibaba's recent acquisitions have been billions of dollars poured into this offline commerce. And for the first time, we heard a lot of talk about this HEMA concept something that Alibaba's kind of been quietly incubating for the past two years, and they've rolled out more than 10 stores around China. And basically, you take the app, you download the HEMA app, walk into the store, scan the goods with the barcode, uh, you check out with Alipay, and you can pick out your own seafood there, have it cooked on the spot to eat in the store, or have it delivered to your home in, in 30 minutes. And Jack Ma and his executives are really betting on this type of strategy to drive growth in the future. I find it interesting that Alibaba is taking on grocery, though, at the same time that Amazon is here in the United States. And Amazon did it after Alibaba moved. Right. But how do their efforts compare? If you look at it, um, the, the sort of size of the mobile payment market in China, in 2016, it's about $790 billion. That's 11x the size of U.S. mobile mar uh, payment market. What it means is that the Chinese consumers are very used to paying with, uh, paying with their smartphone. And they will use Alipay, they will use WeChat Pay to make payments everywhere they go. So they can go to a store, they see something they don't like, they can make a purchase. If the inventory is not available, no problem. The warehouse can send that to their, to their home in the next 30 minutes. That kind of delivery and service level is something that we don't see in the U.S. And you'll see that happen more and more in China going forward.